My name is Mr. Boone. I am the Media Arts Director for HCH Career Pathways, and I'm going to give you instruction on how to perform a table talk. So first thing we did was we sat down at a, um, you can have, it doesn't matter if it's a, a round table, a uh, rectangle, it doesn't matter, just as long as you have enough seats and space for people to feel comfortable while they're sitting. After we sat down, we went over some guidelines and restrictions to what was um, what we expected from each other, um, how to be respectful while someone else is talking, and just have an open heart to another person's feelings and don't judge them on how they go through a, a certain process because we're all different and we have all different experiences so yeah that's pretty much it um, in the video it may seem different but um, overall that's how we went through it uh, we sat down and we just talked to each other and it was it, it may seem uh, weird at first but you know, after a few minutes of everybody opening up and getting more comfortable with each other, um, I feel having a round table talk is beneficial. So, yeah. Uh, step one, find a table, I guess. Uh, step two, uh, make sure everybody's comfortable. And um, uh, set guidelines to how to be respectful and listening. Don't talk over anybody or don't um, have any remarks. Just open ears um, and step three is just you know just to start you know once you start everything else will uh, follow along with that it usually does but yeah uh, thank you hey I'm Christian hey I'm Darren we're at ACH and today we're going to be talking about grief in case you don't know what grief means it means deep sorrow and sad because of a death of a family member or a pet the first time I heard about grief, I thought it meant happy, but then I did some research and it meant sad. And then I lost my great grandma and I was sad. And then I started crying for a week and then the thing that made me happy was eating. Um, times I had grief was when I lost my friend, Miss J when I lost my friend Dre. Um, he, he did a lot of fun things with me. We went to Kenny World Friday night with Miss India and he like he died, so it was so unexpectedly. Said, considering he was in our everyday life, and like it was really, he was really fun. And like when he died, to, when he died, I was really sad. But to get through that sadness, I talked to God a lot, and uh, like hung out, hung out with my mom to make me even more happy. So and she's the reason, like, why I got through the sadness. Now we're gonna cut on to the art major's perspective on. Hello, my name is Miss Dangell and I'm Program Assistant um, to ACH. Um, I chose the butterfly because it reminds me of life. Um, it starts out as a caterpillar, then it turns into this beautiful butterfly. And every time I see one, I just think of a lovely family member or a friend or someone close to my heart. So I ask the kids the same thing and I think we all agreed on butterflies. Hey guys, my name is Jill and I'm the art teacher here at ACH Clear Pathways and I wanted to tell you a little bit how you can make your own butterflies at home and join in on the project that we did here with our students. So first of all, I'm going to let you know what the project is and what materials you'll need to join in. So these butterflies are something that you can decorate in remembrance of somebody you love that passed away. So, you could choose a color that reminds you of them, or decorate it with patterns that reminds you of them, or even put a picture inside. So, what you'll need is a printout of a butterfly like this, or a piece of paper and a pencil. So, I'm going to draw a butterfly here. And the way that I do that is I make a big oval in the middle, circle at the top for a head. Outside of that, we'll make big wings. At the top, I'll make two lines, put the ball on top for antenna. So, once you make your butterfly, you can think of a color to add. 
that makes you remember the person of the past. I'm going to make my butterfly red for my grandpa because he was always making model trains that were red. Once you've finished coloring in your butterfly, you'll need scissors to go ahead and cut out your butterfly. And what our students did was we added all of our individual butterflies to a big canvas with a tree in the middle. So you could even make a background for your butterfly to go on top of. And that's all you'll need to do. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Ellie. I made this butterfly for, for to remind me of my granddad from when he died. The color that it makes me feel happy for me. Hey, my name is Kyra Manoan, and I made this butterfly to remind me of one of, one of the people who used to work here for ACH that died in 2020, and it reminds me of my dog who died on the same day as he did. My name is Chris. This butterfly reminds me of my dog that passed away when I was born. And these colors remind me of my dog. Hello, my name is Andre, and I made this butterfly for one of the old counselors who died in 20, named Jerry. And yeah, these are colors that I just made because I think that they look cool. My name is Priya because my grandma passed away because I made my um, my grandma When y'all was looking through the art um, major, me and me and Christian wrote some stuff down. And then we're gonna read it. I'm gonna go first, and then he goes second. Here is it. Here is also a way that you can get past grief. Talk about it when you can, even if you don't feel like talking. Find ways to express your emotions, like writing a song or a poem, or use can, or you can. Make a video. So think ways I can ways I think I can overcome grief is like let emotions express it. Like don't let people force you to cry and just like it's okay to feel sick. Like talk about it anytime you want. Like with a family member, a pet, God, anybody you want. And like nobody should feel pressure to talk about anything unless they want to. And ways to like ways to remember them is to make like a fragment of them using things they love. Oh, now we're going to cut to the dance perspective. Hi, um, my name is Amani Hill. I'm the dance instructor at ACH and I'm going to show you um, a follow along combination that you can learn with us. It's a five, six, seven, eight. You're going to take your arm, throw it up, one, two, double it, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Next, um, you're going to do a famous dance it's called the Lean With It, Rock With It. You're going to take your arms, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, you're going to throw your arms up and you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, the last part, you kind of just jam out um, and you add your own flavor. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we will have the dancers show you how to follow along.
name is Jay Or, and to close out for today, we will be talking about how grief affected us. Grief affected me by when my great grandfather died. It was really, it was pretty tragic for me. But the way I got through it is going home and relaxing and talking to God about um, what happened. And I went through grievance when my granddad died in like 2017 and I got through grief by crying and sleeping. Um, we hope, have a good day. We hope this helped. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.